Hello, my Cocoa Puffs. It's your girlfriend, Cocoa Peru, coming to you again from my... What was that? Peru? I don't know why I did that. Um, anyway, I'm coming to you again from my backyard here in Los Angeles, California. Very warm day. A bit cloudy, but still gorgeous nonetheless. And, um, well, today I wanted to um, share a little thing with you that just brings me so much joy. So much joy. Um, well, but let me start by saying... Um, a few houses up the street, there, there's a house. Now, a few years ago, it was a real shithole. Let's just put it that way. And uh, suddenly, the person that was living there moved out, and it was up for sale, it was bought, and it was being redone. And the lesbian couple across the street went over there one day to complain about all the noise, because they were going a little past the time, you know, where you should be making noise. And out came these two men, and she realized that it was a gay couple that had bought the house. And after dealing with the shithole, of course, she said, you know what, boys, make all the noise you want. She was so happy. And she, so she, we were driving past her house one day. She ran out and said, she stopped our car to tell us about there were two new gay guys moving in on our block. Well, we were so excited. And they turned out to be David and Stephen. And Stephen is a wonderful architect. And David uh, has a day job with American Express, but his passion is cooking. And let me just say, he's an Italian from New York. Or as he likes to say, uh, he was a little fat Italian that loved the kitchen. And he still loves the kitchen. And I'm so fortunate not only to have great neighbors uh, because you know great neighbors to New York is uh, it's like that is really important and and living here in LA sometimes you know neighbors they don't really interact with each other so to have a New Yorker an Italian is just delightful but the fact that he loves to cook honey so uh in this quarantine he's home with nothing to do uh but cook and my husband and I have been getting treats almost, well, at least every week. Uh, last night, we got beautiful, delicious spinach pie he had made. We've gotten chocolate cakes. For Easter, he made an Easter bread. And today, he brought over these little fruit crumbles. Are they not gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, my God. Cherry and blueberry. And I've already eaten one. But here's the thing. Um... I have always been someone that, you know, I wear dresses, I look, I, I take care of my uh, weight and whatnot. And, and with the treats has been bringing over, it's been very hard. And I have just gotten to a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm going to enjoy it. I enjoy having an Italian neighbor that is looking out for me and bringing me over these delicious treats that I find not only delicious, but extremely comforting on many, many levels. And I even called him. He told me he was going to make me an Easter bread. And I think it was Saturday. I called him. I said, oh, sweetheart, you promised me that Easter bread and you haven't delivered it yet. And he said, well, it's not Easter. My husband was mortified that I would dare to call somebody and call them out for not bringing over the Easter bread. But he said, you'll get it on Easter and sure on a beautiful Easter bread of rye. Chocolate cakes. I I've gotten, we we've gotten so many treats. And David's so sweet, he walks them over, and I can't even open the door, because you know the quarantine. We talk through our front window, and um, he leaves them on the little chair out of front. And when he walks back to the sidewalk, I open the door and take it in. It's so sad on some level, but it makes me realize how much I miss uh, not only being able to embrace of friends and thank them with a hug. But it makes me miss the New York that I grew up in because this is what our neighbors did with each other. You made something, well, you, you made a little extra for the neighbors and you would walk over and my mother would say, come in, we'll have a cup of tea. I miss that. I miss saying, come on in, we'll have a cup of tea. And so when this is over, I am committed to calling David and saying, David, you'll bring over retreats. I'll make the tea. And, um, and, 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 I, and I may even get to baking myself, although he's so good. It's I've, I've had them over for dinner. It's embarrassing.
to cook for people that are, you know, cook so well. But um, anyway, David is started, he's so sweet, he started making little videos online where he's teaching people how to cook these things. And you'll, if you want to follow him, uh, you can go on Instagram. Uh, his name is David Marcella. And uh, I think it's David's Kitchen in L.A. on Instagram. Uh, I don't know if you have neighbors, but uh, na being neighborly, especially at a time like this, is important. If it's a phone call, if it's a wave, an email, checking in, whatever it is, uh, do that for your neighbor. All right, sweetheart. By the way, my husband loves the way my family and I say neighbors. The neighbors. All right. I love all of you, and I do miss you, and hopefully we'll be seeing each other soon, all right? And listen, if you have a little sweet around the house, don't feel guilty to eat it. I'm, so many of you people are posting pictures of your beautiful bodies. I'm going to start posting pictures of my cellulite. I want people with imperfections and a little chunk here and a little chunk. We're going to start posting pictures. That's what we, we need to do. All right, darlings. I'll see you soon. Bye now.